This is the Australian Stock Market Closing Report for Tuesday the 24th of May 2016. In overnight sessions, the US major averages were flat to slightly lower as investors continued to focus on hawkish commentary from the FOMC. Commodities experienced modest losses and crude oil extended its losses for the second day in a row to finish in the red. The soft US market action created a minor negative lead for the Australian stock market in today's session. The ASX 200 closed to the downside 0.44% or 23 points lower to 5,295. The day's trading range was 29 points with the high of the session at 5,324 and the low of the session at 5,295. The ASX 200 market breadth was negative with 66 advancing stocks versus 125 declining stocks and 9 stocks unchanged. The energy sector was the weakest sector of the session, closing down 1.3%. Liquefied natural gas led the components lower, closing down 2.75%. Whitehaven Coal was down 2.7% and Wally Parsons was off 2.1%. The consumer staples sector also demonstrated relative weakness to the overall market, closing down 1.02%. Costa Group Holdings was lower by 2%, West Farmers was off 1.6% and Woolworths was lower by 0.7%. The industrial sector was also weak in today's trading, closing down 0.76%. Clean Away Waste was down 3.1%, Program Maintenance Services was down 2.7% and Seek was off 2.4%. The Resource Bellwethers both closed positive with BHP Billiton higher by 1 cent to close at $18.38 and Rio Tinto was higher by 20 cents to close at $44.20. The financial sector closed down a quarter of a percent with the big four banks all closing in the red. The ANZ Bank was off 0.7% or 17 cents to $24.78 and the Commonwealth Bank was lower by 0.5% or 40 cents to $77.56. The National Australia Bank was off 0.6% or 17 cents to $26.97 and Westpac was lower by 0.4% or 12 cents to $29.78. The utility sector was one of the few sectors to demonstrate strength, closing higher by 0.42%. Spark Infrastructure closed up 1.8%, AGL Energy was up 1.2% and Ausnet Services was flat on the session. In economic news, the ANZ Roy Morgan Consumer Confidence Index rose 0.5% last week. Consumer confidence is now 2.6% above its long-term average, underpinned by stronger optimism around household finances, says ANZ Senior Economist Joe Masters. Over the past four weeks, consumer confidence has moved higher to 3.6%. Joe Masters also said consumer views regarding their finances in the 12 months forward rebounded 3.4% and their comparison to one year ago was up 1.4%. In company news, Australian biopharma company CSL received regulatory approval for its four-strain cell culture derived vaccine Flucelvax. CSL closed out the session high by $0.09 cents to $113.26. The five most active stocks were Qantas Airways with a volume of $27.57 million, Fortescue Metals at $17.81 million, Fairfax Media at $16.38 million, Telstra Corporation at 15.73 million and South 32 with 13.71 million shares changing hands. The five best performers were Select Harvests higher 5.4%, Technology One up 4.1%, Corporate Travel Management higher 3.6%, Aconex higher by 3.3% and St. Barbara up 3.2%. The five worst performers were Flight Centre down 5%, GWA Group down 3.9%, Australian Farmer Industries lower by 3.4%, Nine Entertainment down 3.3%, Qantas Airways lower by 3.1%. The Australian dollar is currently lower by 0.8% to 71.69 US cents. Spot Gold is down in the Asian session 0.65% to 1,243 US dollars. Crude oil is also lower in Asian trading down 31 cents or 0.64% to $47.77. This has been the Australian Stock Market Closing Report for Tuesday the 24th of May 2016 and I've been your host Aaron First. I'll see you again next time.